scripture first this is the book of romans chapter 16 verse 17 it reads now i beseech you brethren mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them for they that are are serve such serve not our lord yahweh shai hamashiach but their own belly and by good words and fair speeches deceiving the hearts of the simple first and foremost before i get started with this lesson i would like to give all praises honor and glory to yahweh bahashim yahweh shai bahashim rakah Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that grew well and have taught me these truth, peace, and salutations unto the hopeful elect. The temple of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you, I say, Shalom. Hey, Shalom to you, Akiam. Shalom to you, very few sincere Akhoff. And Shalom to the 144,000. And it's going to be a real quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimmy Awashai, your brother Dubar Kabash. Coming back at you from the GMS Shaw North Carolina camp with a quick lesson to edify through the Rakak with Dash. And uh, as you see here, you know, I played a few of these clips and uh, the, uh, the brother GMS inquire uh, uh, early truth. Right. He actually uh, uploaded this here on his video. And actually one of the brothers, uh, the brother Yuwam, uh, when we was at the Wasak, he actually showed me this video here, you know, showing this group. Right, Sakari, you know, they got babies and, you know, Jake, <coughs> you know, all at the Passover, 2024 Passover, right, and you see what they're about, man, you know, they got guns and all of that, you know, got, got fake ass mink coats on, you know, and all that crazy shit, man, you know, men with long hair and shades, what the hell you got on shades, Right, you know, this dude looks suspect, you see that? But, you know, the hell you got on shades inside of a building for? You know, showing you that, you know, you know that the spirit ain't really dealing with this group, man. And we didn't already told you guys, right? And you got this dude here, right? Gorilla Hebrew, he's sitting up on the damn throne like he King Joffy Joe or something. All right, and then, of course, you got this dude over here, you know, a, a deacon. You know, so a lot of you guys, man, you guys are just carnal, man. All right, you just, you just carnal, right? And ultimately, you're just meant to uh, deceive the hearts of the simple, man. Everybody in here is simple as shit. Everybody in here is simple. You see that? And, you know, this dude right here, you know, he got his little zitsies on, you know, bugging the hell out. This dude here, he has not become a new creature, man. Right? And the name of the brother's video that he did was called, Does This Passover... Uh, look solemnly, and the answer is hell no. You got you know dudes, you know guys in there, you know uh, uh uh bugging out, man, throwing hats and all that shit, man. 
You know, where's this at in the scriptures? Show me this in the scriptures. You know, but again, you know, just showing you, man, you know, just, Lord ain't dealing with none of this here, man. All right. And we have already warned you individuals, you know, and if you still following them, then, you know, the Lord got you with a trick bag. You see that? As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and grab that, man. All right. That's ultimately what it is. The Lord just got you in a trick bag. Ezekiel chapter 14. And I'm going to start at verse, uh, I'll start at verse seven in the NLT. And it reads, I, the Lord will answer all those, both Israelites and foreigners, right? Talk about the Israelites who reject me and set up idols in their hearts and so fall into sin and who then come to a prophet asking for my advice. I will turn again such people and make a terrible example of them. You see that? Eliminating them from among my people. Then you will know that I am the Lord. That's right, man. So the Lord's going to eliminate a lot of you individuals, man. Right? But anyway, let's keep going here. And if a prophet is deceived unto giving a message, it is because I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet. You see? I will lift my fists against such prophet and cut them off from the community of Israel. You see? False prophets. Listen, it says false prophets and those who seek their guidance will all be punished for their sins. You see that? So all you individuals... Right, false prophets and all you simple ass people. Look at all these simple ass people, man. False prophets, right? And all these simple ass people, they're gonna be destroyed, man. You see, because you know, we didn't already went into the scriptures, right? Showing you, you know, that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, right? That men not supposed to have long hair, right? That women are not supposed to be at the Pasak. You see that? We told you. All these things here, man, right? Men are not supposed to have long hair, but, you know, again, these people, they're just simple, man, all right? And it's okay because the Lord said he was going to do what? Destroy. You see that? Men, women, and little people, okay? And I can't get over this fake-ass Paul Wall-looking dude in the background. And this dude here look like a straight suspect. Look at that dude, man. Not not the young boy, but look at Paul. Look at fake Paul Wall in the background, man. Something, something just ain't right about this dude here, man. Something just ain't right about him, you know, but, you know, <laughs> you know, that's all of them in there, man. Anyway, let's keep going here, man. Ezekiel chapter 21, verse 9. Son of man, prophesy and say, thus saith the Lord. Say a sword, a sword is sharpened and furbished. You see that? It is sharpened to make a sword slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? It contemneth the rod of my son as every tree. You see that? I want to read this here because these guys, they're in the part of, you know, everybody in the spirit of mirth. And I can't forget about this dude here, you know, Jake, you know, <laughs> Jake bugged out, man. You know, Jake is bugged out. And the brother Shapar, 12, yeah, I want to say he re-uploaded this on this channel too, you know. 2024 Passover, right? Dreadlocks. You know, all kind of shit, man. And I bet these dudes here, you know, I bet he's not out there on the highways and byways, but, you know, he can, you know, act like a complete asshole at the Passover, man. And again, show me the scripture where it was like this at the Lord's Passover or even at the first Passover, man. You know, but they're not going to do it because, you know, these people, they're not in a sorrowful spirit, man. You see, showing you that they don't know the scriptures. As a matter of fact, let me see here, man. And Shalakia, let's go ahead and grab that real quick, man. Where is that? This is the book, all right? Let's read this here. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 26. And I'm going to start at verse 20. And the subtitle reads, The Last, it's like the last Passover. You see? Now, when the evening was come, he sat down with the twelve. as And as they did eat, he said, Verily I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. And they were exceedingly sorrowful. What the hell does sorrowful mean? Let's go ahead and look that up. You know, because these groups, you know, they're not in a sorrowful spirit, man. Hey, let's go ahead and look this up. Strong's G 3076. Lupeo. Lupeo. 
Lupea. It says to make sorrowful, uh, grieve, offend. You see that? To make one easy cause uh, him to, uh, yeah, man. So you grieve, make sorry, sorrowful, heaviness. You know, and these groups here, man, they're not in the spirit of heaviness, I think I'm in the, in the spirit of mirth, right? Making whack ass rap songs and all of that, man. You got women in there, you know, with damn spaghetti straps on and all of that, right? Yeah, man. Going, oh, all oh, this is wrong. You see, it's wrong. You know, you brothers, you know, and you you naysayers can say whatever the hell you want to say is wrong. This is the book of Titus, chapter one, verse ten. For there are many. Uh, unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circus. That's right. So there's a lot of people that know that the Hebrew Israelites, man, but guess what? They're vain talkers and deceivers. Continuing on, it says, whose mouths must be stopped, who serve whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre. You see that? And when you look at this video here, you know, you got the babies the and the whole family. Right? Subverting whole houses, man. You see? I think they after me. And they doing all of this here for filthy lucre. Show me one. Sh show me a rap song where your high shy did, man. You know, but you know, your group is, is, is not gonna produce that. You know, let this be a lesson out there for you brothers and few sisters, man. You're still following it, man. You know what? It is what it is. You know, because ultimately, if you're following a group and you think there's no problem with you following them, the Lord, again, got your crazy, weird ass in a trick bag. Second Timothy 3 and 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. You see that? I don't have to break that down, man. You know, everybody's Tell bugged me. out. You know, showing you that these people, they're not in a solemn spirit, they're in a spirit of mirth. And partying, partying the hell up, you know, walking around with guns at the, at the Passat. You got a whole, a, a whole AR-15. This is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the pulling down of strong, like but, but through the most high to the pulling down of stronghold. That's right, man. So this is how we defeat the enemy, man. You see? You know, but, you know, Jake, simple, man, you know, you know, so ultimately, you know, these guys here, you know, they just had, had a Passat and they didn't do it uh, uh, worthily, man, at all. This is not worthily at all, man. All right, let's go ahead and grab, let's go ahead and grab one more and I'm going to shut it down. And Shalakia, let me see, let's go ahead and grab one more and I'm going to shut it down. First Corinthians, shot 11, verse 26, I mean, verse 27. I'm not even upset, man, for real, because... You know, they've been rejected. You know, I mean, they've been rejected, man. We rebuked them once. We rebuked them a bunch of other times, and they still have not, you know, uh, 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 received the rejection, man. As a matter of fact, let me see here, man. I'm going to read that. This is the book of Timothy. It's like it's the book of Titus, chapter 3, verse 10. A man that is a heretic, right? If you don't know what the word heretic is, look it up. After the first and second admonition, reject. You see that? So this is why we, you know, this is why the Lord rejected these guys here, man. They've been rebuked, right? Too many times, man. You see that? Far too many times, you know, and instead of Jake humbling the hell down, right? Nah, they don't want to humble down, right? They want to sit up there, right? They want to sit up there, you know, uh, uh, you know, Jake won his kingdom now, man. See that? Jake won his kingdom now. He want to rule in Esau's uh, rulership, but it's okay. You know, so that was their Passover, right? That was their Passover. Let's go ahead and read this here, man. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 27. It reads, Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink uh, this, of, like this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body of the blood of the Lord. But let a, but let a man examine himself. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. You see, so you're supposed to examine yourself before you partake in the Passover. So you got to ask yourself, did they examine themselves? For anyway, verse 29. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself. Not discerning 
the Lord's body. You know, so I just wanted to, you know, do this lesson here. You know, just something real quick through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Right? This this was not the Lord's Passover, man. You see that? And the Lord's going to destroy all you individuals that ate, right, and drank of the of this cup. You know, ate of the bread and drank of the cup unworthily, man. You see? So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here, Israel, until the next time I say, Shalom. John the Baptist, they want to burn my Bible. I told my mom the stats, they he heard in my music, because every song's a classic. The flow was addicted, I let it call the attic. You lack in the faith, Ripley's, believe it or not. I steady all the time, yeah, I got the seat for a lot. We was in the streets, used to keep the heater on cock. Now I'm building the church, I think I'm Peter the Rock. I'm back, back. I think I'm